In this case study, we show how IHC attribution insights can improve marketing performance. Marketeers from the agency FSG found out that certain channels were too expensive, according to Google Analytics, so first they reduced the budgets. But from IHC attribution data, they learned that these channels are important for the generation of new customers and decided to increase the budgets again, which led to revenue increases. Let's jump into the use case. FSG is a digital marketing agency that helps international brands to grow very fast on the German market. In order to monitor and improve the performance, FSG needed a business intelligence system that combines multiple information sources. HEMS provided a Power BI dashboard created with various KPIs at channels and campaign levels. These indicators are based on data from different sources, such as event tracking, Google Analytics, Facebook Insights, Google Ads, Instagram, etc. Another specific source is IHC Attribution. IHC stands for three crucial phases in each customer interaction. Initializer, Holder and Closer. It is a fully data-driven multi-touch model that evaluates each session's impact within the individual customer journey. Marketing specialists take decisions that highly affect the business performance, so it is crucial for them to have good data-based insights. The BI dashboard combined with the IHC attribution insights supports marketeers in their smart decision-making. What happened in our example case? The results of quarter one and most of quarter two showed that two marketing channels were excessively expensive, according to Google Analytics CPO cost per order evaluation. In May, for instance, costs were 50% above the target without according increases in attributed GA conversions. Those channels were display and content marketing. So the marketing team decided to reduce the advertising spending for those channels starting June. But what happened after this? High ROAS and low CPO in June indicate that the sessions could have performed better. Also, the session's target was not reached, minus 15% below target. In July, only 107% of target revenue was reached, compared to 123% above target in June. It seems that the underperforming sessions in June had a high influence on this. Question is, why was the session goal not achieved? With a BI dashboard showing each channel's performance separately, marketeers dived deep into the root of the problem. There were two channels that didn't reach session's target. Display and Content Marketing, the channels where the investment was previously reduced. The investment was reduced because Google Analytics showed that Content Marketing had an extremely high last non-direct CPO. Marketing specialists wanted to be equal to the target, so they decided to reduce the investment. The channel was still expensive, as the resulting conversion decrease was higher than the cost decrease. But analyzing the customer journeys with IHC attributions gave some interesting insights. Content and display marketing are rarely the last touch points in customer journeys, only around 11%. As a comparison, Zia Brand is very often the last touch point, 50% of the time when it is present in customer journeys. Google Analytics reported a very high CPO for content marketing because GA uses last non-direct as its default attribution model. So GA is overvaluing channels which have touch points in the end of the customer journey and undervaluing channels which are in the beginning or the middle of the customer journey. In contrast, IHC is smart in evaluating the impact of touch points within the entire customer journey. Based on IHC attribution, the content marketing CPO was just below target and hence good. Through IHC, it was possible to see that content marketing had a strong initializer of first contact phase, meaning it was strong in creating new customers and therefore supporting growth. A similar behavior was found in relation to the display channel. This means that display and content marketing had a lot of capacity to get new potential customers. But these are the channels where the budget was reduced in June. Marketeers decided to increase the investment in content and display marketing channels in order to boost new customer generation. 
Based on Google Analytics, the company had to reduce the budget of certain channels. But following the IHC model, marketeers increased July's budget for content marketing leaving it as it was in May. Sessions accomplished their targets and turnover reached again the following months the high expectations. IHC Attribution and the Deep Dive BI Dashboard provided marketeers with valuable insights for better decision making in order to highly improve marketing performances. The BI Dashboard tool can be fully tailored according to your data sources and the internal workflow. With IHC, it's possible to evaluate the importance of all touchpoints and customer journeys. It allows you to understand the impact of each campaign to optimize your media mix. In case you're interested to see the IHC insights on your data, please get in touch with us.